Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading I Love You, episode 3 to 4. Let's go ahead and get started. Sorry, my hair is wet. I just showered. <laughs> so my hair is like flat. I love you so much. Let's get married. I don't care if we're siblings. Uh huh? Mm, do you have any other comics I could read? This one isn't really my thing. Do you have something like Bothman? Instead of reading comics, shouldn't you be getting ready? I am ready. You guys are just taking way too long. You're kidding, right? Shanae, this isn't the kind of party where leggings are fine. You need to dress up. Look, I'm only going for the food. I won't be able to eat as much in a tight dress like yours. And what I'm wearing is way more comfortable. Besides, I don't own any dresses. Pants forever. <laughs> it's a swing dress. You'll be able to peg out just fine with that. Now take off your clothes. Duh? You wanted to be a stripper, right? I love you. All right, girls, it's time to put on our mask. We are here. We promise you're going to have so much fun, Shanae. Um, why is everybody staring at me? Uh, oh, no. What is she wearing? I don't know, it probably has to something to do with the mask of yours. Hey, this is the best I could do last minute. Whatever. Anyway, now that we're here, let us let me say a few things. These people that get invited to the uh, Hirahara party. Let's just say a lot of these guys belong to the upper class. Then how are we three able to attend? My father has been with the company since the very beginning. And so as courtesy for his hard work, my family gets invited all the time. And we are allowed to bring a few friends along. So try not to cause any trouble, okay? What are you trying to say? There may be a few entitled brats here and there that might piss you off. Remember what happened yesterday at the burger place? Yeah, I remember. Don't remind me. Anyway, I recognize that guy's uniform. He goes to a really prestigious school. And guess what? The uniform costs $10,000. Let's just hope he doesn't ask you to pay for damages. $10,000? What the heck? Can clothes really cost that much? Oh no. Try not to do anything rash, alright? You can bet people here are wearing clothes that cost just as much, if not more. I'll be fine. As long as I get my food, I'll be calm. She really loves food. Okay then, let's head downstairs. That's where all the fun is. Can't we go eat first? We'll get to the food later. For now, let's go dancing. We don't want to dance in a full stomach, do you know? Huh? Um, why don't you guys dance and I'll just watch? What? But that's no fun. It's okay. I'll just stand here. All right, if you insist. Is it weird to think that my idea of fun is staying at home? And that's totally fine. It's okay if you're an introvert or a homebody. And not this. At least Rika and Maya are enjoying themselves. That's good. But the stupid mask, though. Making my face get all sweaty. Huh? Hell yeah, party! Excuse me, what are you doing? You looked lonely over here. Hey, leave me alone. <laughs> Come on, don't be a party pooper. Guys, please, I'm not interested. 
Hey, can you not rub your junk on my leg? I need to get uh, out of... <gasps> Oh no. Ow, oh, that hurts. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Sorry about that. I'm gonna lose it if I I stay down here. No. Uh, oh, what was up with those guys? Is that oh, it's food? It must be in that room then. Uh, oh, Finally! This is awesome. I'm trying out every single thing they have to offer. Uh? Is that tiramisu? Never had one of these babies before. Last one and you're all mine. Tonight is gonna be a good night. Oh! What just happened? That guy tripped her. That's so mean. My precious food. Huh. Oh man, here comes the drama. Okay, turning on music. Hopefully it's not too loud. It's kind of loud. But hopefully it's not overbearing. Okay. Whoa. That hairstyle. He looks like a Q-tip. A Q-tip. Hey, that's my tiramisu. Were you the one that tripped me? That's my cake. I got it fair and square. You better give it back. Give it back. With that sad, low quality outfit of yours, don't make me laugh. Judging by the amount of food on the floor, you'll be fine without it, fat ass. How did you even get invited to this party? Have standards gone that low? You're not even wearing a mask. You're one to talk. She just ruined someone's outfit after her friend told her not to do anything irrational. Oops, my bad. I was aiming for my mouth. But I hit the asshole instead. <laughs> the suit is custom. Dulce de leche. Do you have any idea how much my jacket costs? Alone. Alone cost. Oh, good. I screwed up. It's kind of funny that they put the brand as Dulce de Leche, which is a cake <laughs> in Spanish. 10,000 dollars? I love you. God, I think I lost him. Uh, as long as he doesn't come inside this ballroom, I'll be safe. I can't stay at this party any longer after ruining that Q-tip sweet. Suit. Curse this hung hunger of mine. I need to get out of here. I should call Rika. Hello? Who is calling you? It's Shanae. Yo, Rika, can we go home now? What? It's only been two hours since we got here. Where are you? Did you get some food yet? I'm at the ballroom upstairs, and about the food... Well, no, I haven't eaten yet. Then go to the dining hall without me and Maya. It should be right next to the ballroom. Me and Maya are going to be dancing a little bit longer. But... Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, Rika! It's Tim Hurdiston! What? Where? Gotta go, Shanae. I'll call you back in a bit. Don't lose sight of him. Wait, but I need to... What the? She hung up on me? Okay, just calm down. Don't let your stomach control your emotions. Just redial her number. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Damn it, she's ignoring me. Uh, you okay there, miss? Need some help? I just want to leave this place. Oh give you a ride. 
Wait. <gasps> Crap. See ya, you perv. Come back, I didn't mean it like that. First those creeps at the club, then this the asshole at the dining area, now a perv? I'm having such a blast. I should try calling Rika again. I really hope she picks up. Please pick up. Oh my god, she's calling me again? That voice. What does she want? I think she wants to go home. It's like the third call I already got from her. What? Already? We haven't even been here that long. I know. Why does she like parties? Sinead's uh, our friend and she's super cool and all, but she can be really boring sometimes. I'll just turn my phone off. It'll be easier to ignore that, the calls that way. Good idea. Now, where did Mr. Hurdleston run off to? He went that way, I think. You two are gonna pay for this. Ah, there you are. What? Damn, you run fast. I didn't, I didn't get to explain myself. Ugh, you again. You purr from the ballroom. Are you stalking me or something? Don't come any closer, you stalker, or I'm calling the police. Calm down. I'm not stalking you, I swear. You're definitely following me, though. What do you want? I want to help you. I didn't mean to scare you earlier, and I didn't mean to eavesdrop on your phone conversation earlier. Okay, maybe I did, but... Anyway, I heard that you wanted to go home, but your friend is ignoring your call. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, that's right, but that's none of your business. And why would you want to help me anyway? You're not going to get anything out of this. <laughs> I'm just bored. Bored? Yeah. Every year I'm forced to attend this stupid party just to play politics. And every year I see the same thing. Fake smile, brown, brown nosers. It's hard to tell which people genuinely like you. Most of the time, it's just people being friendly because of who you know or who you're related to. And... Wait, were you even listening to what I was saying? Huh? I'll take that as a no. Alright, look. Don't take this the wrong way, but... I couldn't care less whether you're the son of the Prime Minister. Or a random cashier at a food mart. You're a human first. And humans kind of suck. So, bye. <laughs> I'm sure that is like a breath of fresh air for him. Hopefully he stops following me after what I told him. Now, where's the bathroom? I can hide there while Rika and Maya party. I got my phone to keep me company anyway. You gotta be kidding me. Why are you still following me? When I said I want to help, I meant it. So here I am. What the heck is wrong with this guy? He's not going to give up, is he? Okay, fine. So what is this help that you are offering? Well, first I was thinking of calling you a cab and paying for it. And second... Thank your friends as a payback for ignoring you. Hmm. Mm hmm. Pranks. I'm in. Oh no. Okay. I think this is a cute friendship so far, right? They're they're teaming up. They are strangers, but they're becoming acquaintances and maybe friends. Well, I think that's kind of fun. Teaming up to get back at her friends for honestly. Not really ditching her, but ignoring her. And I mean, I mean, I don't blame her friends for wanting to party or continue to party because literally Shanae wants to go home already. You know, like they just got to the party and she's a being a party pooper and she's she has a bad temper and she's ruining people's clothes left and right, left and right. You know, so like I don't blame her friends for like wanting to stay longer and getting annoyed that she keeps on bothering calling them to go home and they turn off their phone to ignore her like i don't blame them for that but it's kind of unsafe to do that for me it's unsafe because like you know what if something happened to my friend 
uh, as uh, my phone is off. Like, what if she's in deep trouble? You know, like someone's stalking her. Someone is out, you know, you know, you never know. So I never turn off my phone, even if I'm upset at someone, you know? And if I am in charge, if I'm the one who took them to a party, I would not do that. But anyways, I wonder what these two will come up with. All right, guys, if you guys enjoy the way I read this, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!